You are more than conquerors. You have overcome great adversities to be here and to be set apart for my end time purposes. Where you now find yourself is a place no man has ever been before, for this was set for such a time as this. I have set you apart from the rest, as you are my end time army that will stand against the great darkness coming upon the earth. Sin has multiplied in great measure, and this cup is now full to overflow, and so now my judgments must fall upon the earth to judge sin at every level. You are not here because you are perfect. You are here because you have prevailed, because you stood firm in me, even in the midst of evil. You have suffered for my name's sake, yet you did not deny me. You did not fall away. You chose to stand, even when you did not understand much. Some of you, in fact most of you, will be surprised to find yourself here, because you have never thought much of yourself. Yes, before men you are nobodies. You are nothing to be admired, just like I was. You have suffered most of your life, and this has humbled you to the very lowest level. I tell you now, you are the ones that I have chosen. You to carry my glory, my power, my authority, to rise above the schemes and the plans of the enemy. You have been last, never noticed by anyone, but today you are first. You have been clothed in rugs, in poverty and infirmities, but today you put on robes of righteousness without blemish. Garments of light will be your attire, clothed in my full armor. Where you are weakened, you will now be strengthened, for you have known me and stood firm, and now only great exploits await you. In this place, you will know exactly who you are and why you are here. You will understand why your journey has been tough. You will know what you carry inside of you, for you carry greatness. You are my great jewel, my precious stones that I will build my house with, the great city that nations will come to. You will understand why you are here, and what comes next after my judgments are poured upon the earth. This is the time for the great harvest of souls, for you will be the night in the gross darkness that is coming. You will be the solution to mankind in their distress. You are my mercy upon the earth, for the era of grace is come to an end. The church age, as you know it, has run its course. Now things will be done my way, the way the early church laid the foundation. But over the centuries, man diverted from that foundation and laid a foundation of religion that I did not bring that is based on man's philosophies and interpretation of who I am. This foundation has raised a very weak building that can no longer stand and cannot go any higher than it already has. The material and doctrines used to build upon the foundation I laid have been tempered with and have lost their intrinsic value. Now I will build my house on the proper foundation that I laid and build upon it with the proper materials and I will be the chief cornerstone of this building that will go to the ends of the earth with the right message. This house will draw nations to it for my light will never stop shining there. You will be the witnesses to the nations, my witnesses. Now you have come here to be trained, to receive the food that will build you up and give you capacity to step forth in great power and might. You will fear no man or their systems, but only I, the God Almighty. This is the time I am establishing my kingdom on earth and my will to be accomplished, just as it is in heaven. You will understand my kingdom principles that you will walk in, so as to govern man. You have sought my kingdom first and its righteousness. 
Now you must understand the meaning of all that. You will bear much fruit for the nations to partake from, and it will be fruit straight from the vines, pure and undefiled. It will bring healing to the souls of men to come to my light. New mysteries and revelations will be open to you, that will and no call that is in you to come bursting forth. What you all carry is what is needed in these times that will free the hearts and minds of mankind. You carry great treasure in your earthen vessels that is now time it shines forth in this gross darkness. Your bodies will be changed because of this and all corruption in you and on you will melt away. You are the new thing I am doing, the new wine which will water the desert places. This is the true living water that comes from me and that will forever flow in you and through you for the nations. I am taking away your ashes and giving you beauty. I am wiping away all your tears and giving you joy untold. For the joy of your God will always be your strength. You will rebuild cities, ancient ruins, places that lay desolate and barren, for many are wandering like lost sheep, imprisoned in their minds, and blinded to see the cliff they are headed for, to their death. You will set the captives free, you will free the afflicted and oppressed, you will feed the widow and the orphan, you will open the eyes of the blind and give shelter to the wanderer. You will march forth as my great army, not to show your might over people, but to show my great love, not in words only, but also in deeds. Love is my language, it is who I am through and through, for I demonstrated it on the cross. This message of the cross will be on your lips, for many of you have walked this road, some are still walking it, for there is no greater love than this, than to lay down your life for another. This will always be the mark of the higher calling, to lay down your life for another, to serve others and expect nothing in return, for I am your greatest reward. Now welcome to the age of my sonship, the age of my final move, the age of my later glory, the final age that will usher in the reign of my son. The work to be done is much, for evil is ready and has assembled its own soldiers to war against you. The darkness about to befall this world is unlike anything this world has ever seen since its creation. But so is the glory that will cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. So fear nothing and no one, only I, your God. Follow every instruction given to you by your leaders. There will be different divisions in the army based on the different assignments and each division will have its leader. For you will march forth in obedience so that you are united as one army with one goal to rescue the souls of men. Many of the things you will hear will be new to your hearing. But know that I, the Lord, have uttered every word. You will live by my word, my now sayings, and you will be purely led by my spirit, not your senses. This then calls for higher consecration, sacrifice and surrender on your part. You are giving your all to me, that my will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As this word comes to your hearing, you will know who you are for it will settle in your soul heavily. My spirit in you will bear witness. I will continue to give instructions and my word, now that you are here, through the proper channels of communication. Now remain focused on only the things above. Set your hearts and minds on these things, for this is your new abode. You are no longer sheep but lions, soldiers in my army led by the lion of the tribe of Judah.